Well, we've just uh, finished building this Tembi professional trumpet and we've uh, cycloline treated this, this instrument uh, which actually uh, focuses the sound a little bit more and this is a, uh, an old engraving tool which I'm just about to, uh, to put a C, engrave a C into the centre valve so that everyone knows that this is uh, cycloline treated from now on. It's pretty shiny, it's a bit hard to see but uh, we'll get that C correct in a, in a second. So it doesn't indent into the uh, into the valve casing at all. We'll just get a nice little C in there. So that's done. So today this is really interesting. This is the first thing for Tembi trumpets in Australia. That uh, up till now we've had a fairly traditional design piston, which is monel metal coated. You can see a sleeve there. Well, I don't know whether you can see that in this uh, in this video, but it's brass inside and then there's a sleeve that's uh, made and fitted over the top but um, fortunately I've uh, been able to um, work with one of the German companies who make uh, very interesting valves and um, we're going to pull this one apart because they've actually made some for me to suit this trumpet. Now this is called a Moore valve, that's M-A-W, so traditional valves um, the, the, the airflow tends to go, well, wiggly right through the valve, which slows the airflow down. You get little bumps and humps here and there. I don't know whether you can see that, but hopefully you can. Uh, and that deflects the air or, and creates turbulences and back pressure to the player. So uh, the, the idea of this piston is that uh, in the center, it actually allows the air to go straight through from first, second, third valves, or back to front, actually. Um, this is made, handmade in Germany and it's a stainless steel sleeve so it's as, as hard as anything but, but they can refine that to really fine tolerances so this valve is going to be nice and tight once it goes into the casing. They've also copied our, uh, our threads and, and stem links and whatever so, so theoretically this, this should fit. Um, there's one of our nylon valve guides. Actually we might put the valve guide in first that's where it's uh, really wants to go in there first. So nice and nice and easily. In goes the spring and we retrofit our fitting at the top here. And check that this is going to move up and down nice and freely which it does and obviously a bit of uh, a bit of oil won't go astray. We use uh, we use Hetman only on our on our valves because um, this is a light piston number one which is for for, for uh, nice new tight uh, well-made pistons and here comes the test it goes in clicks oh my goodness this is something this really is this is a bit of history being created in australia guess who's excited spin it around in it goes and a spring. Threads absolutely perfect. So there's not going to be any movement there at all or wear or rattling. Just a good thing. And goes the cap. So that valve stem uh, mates perfectly into the piston now. The valves are numbered uh, facing you, so that's number three. Or facing me, that is. There it goes. Tighten it down. Now, this is going to be the, a really good test because... Oh my goodness. It's almost sucking the air out. And almost... There's hardly any difference in the... In the uh, in the resistance factor there, that's amazing. So there we have it, it's a Tembi professional trumpet, um, cycloline treated, uh, which makes it a little bit brighter, a little bit more focused, focuses on the uh, upper partial harmonics uh, and is free, free blowing anyway. But with these amazing German valves, we've just gone to another level. But this, uh, I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, you've got to come and try it, um, it's, it's very cool.